there is ranked number 12 in the 141 pound weight class. Ward shoots for the ankle and he'll get the takedown. Two points for him, just 20 seconds into this match. Van Hoos able to get back to his feet. Ward quickly took him right back down. Van Hoos again back to his feet. A near fall here for Ward. Van Hoos shoots for the leg and is able to get it. Ward scrambles, is able to muster him and then takes him down with a trip, gets two points. A 10-0 lead for Joey Ward. Another near fall for Ward. And who's finally gonna break free. And it is a 17 to nothing lead for Joey Ward. The technical fall. Both wrestlers still playing a little bit of a chess match. Moon shoots for the left leg, is able to get it. And finally earns the points for the takedown. A two nothing lead for him. Nice job there by Moon, who it looked like Sokka was gonna take down. Instead, he gets a takedown of himself, but he will take a 7-2 win with the extra point on my time and 8-2 final score in the 149-pound weight class and another win for the Tar Heels at the 157 weight class. With a minute to go. in a seated position and he will earn the two points for a takedown. It's now a four to one lead as he flips him over and now has the back two more and it's a six to one lead. Left ankle is Mears and finally taking Atkinson back down. Gets to his feet and is gonna get the point on the escape. It's six to four now. And a nice takedown there from Mears that earned two points, eight to four lead. Nice job of scrambling by Mears as the clock is down to three. And another win for North Carolina as the red shirt senior Chris Mears defeats Andrew Atkinson's nine to seven. Ramos able to shoot and get the left leg. Gets two points from the takedown. He's got the four to three lead with 110 on the clock. The neutral position start. First point to score, or first point scored is gonna be the winner. Ramos shoots for the leg, and he gets the two points in the end. Huge upset for McGowan and the red shirt freshman, Ethan Ramos. Ramos! Uh, able to get the left leg. It's Gillen down and is able to get two points on the takedown. He's got the three to one lead now. Gillen able to get up to his feet and get away one point for Gillen on the escape with 30 seconds to go, but it's a three to one lead for Avendanza and the Tar Heels. Gillen able to get the right leg, or the left leg, excuse me, of Avendanza with 15 on the clock. Frank Avendanza able to get the leg away from him, and he's got a leg of Gillen now. Two more points for Avendanza with just six seconds on the clock. 15 seconds to go as Avendanza avoids the shoot from Gillen. The clock down to 10. The excitement and energy building as North Carolina just five seconds away from the win. And Avendanza gonna win this one five to two and the Tar Heels with a huge upset and a 